are five aspects that we need to take into consideration when it comes down to this situation. Number one, iodine and thyroid health. She is right. Iodine is an essential mineral that the body needs for the efficient function of the thyroid gland. The thyroid uses iodine to produce thyroid hormones. As she stated, it regulates the body's functions. So insufficient iodine does indeed alter this situation. This causes the thyroid gland not to produce enough hormones. But more importantly, point number two, kale and iodine content. So kale is a very nutrient leafy green. I can see why social media makes you guys run to that and lead. That's understandable. It contains a substance called goitrogens. That's really the problem. It's not that kale is bad for us. It's just producing this particular substance that inhibits the functionality of our thyroid gland. So what's happening is the iodine absorption that the thyroid is trying to do, it can't because the kale is producing this substance. But I will say, even though it does do this, it shouldn't affect you this drastically if your diet is balanced. So instead of blending it, you should cook it. That kind of neutralizes that situation or lessens the effect of kale. But again, I say the effects are minimal when the diet is balanced, which brings me to point number three, a balanced diet and thyroid function. Now I specialize in holistic biochemical healing. So we that's one of the things we pretty much lead with. You have to have a balanced diet, but variety in your diet because we want to accumulate as much absorption of the vital nutrients that the body needs to process and heal. Well, function and heal, I should say. Now, while it's true that excessive consumption of kale does indeed inhibit this absorption process, we have to remember this one thing. It's unlikely to lead to hypothyroidism in this particular case when the diet is what? Balanced. Variety helps mitigate the potential negative effects on the body. Which leads me to point number four, individual variation. And this is not to rule out what she's saying, but I want you guys to know that everybody's body is different. I have multiple patients that have high blood pressure and hypoparathyroidism and hypoparathyroidism. And guess what? All of their routines and systems and diets are very different. She might be someone that's more sensitive to the substance that the care releases than someone else. And this is why you will always see me say on my videos, advise your healthcare provider or your specialist because everybody's body is different. Now, point number five, what does a good balanced diet even look like when it comes down to thyroids, that is? So what we want to do is incorporate a wide range of vegetables or wide range of fruits. I will always say that fruits are the detoxifiers and vegetables are the builders. And that takes us to portion size control as well. Yes, I'm a fan of macro and micro charting, but I'm also a fan of just not overeating. We have to remember that the thyroid gland plays a big role in metabolism. And if the body is overloaded with food and trying to digest, you're already putting yourself at a disadvantage. Now, I know this video is getting a little long with it, but let me give you some herbal recommendations and I'm out your way. Focus on horsetail and nettle. That's some of the best teas you can use in this situation. I oftentimes tell them equal amounts or equal parts when you want to put them inside of your uh, tea kettle and then you brew them out. Let it steep no less than 15 minutes and you can drink that roughly two to three times a day. Now, I can go into the specifics about timing and fasting X, Y, and Z, but I want to keep it rather general being that, you know, I'm not dealing with the specific person. I'm dealing with everybody that's watching this video. But all in all, love the video that she made. Y'all go support her. Y'all go show her some love. Y'all pray for her, for her healing. And as always, I'll be here to answer you guys' questions and tune in. Keep sending me videos like this so I can continue to stitch them. Oh, and y'all thought I was...